Good morning guys and welcome to iPunch Smart. Uh, we wanted to do a new tutorial video on South African horse racing for a while now since we have had quite a few extra features um, and I've decided to actually do this more on a live environment to show you what the capabilities are and how to make use of it. So from the dashboard you'll see there is uh, one track today and that is the South African horse racing so we can go straight into it like that or we can just go horse racing and then go to the today's meeting by the way as you can see here uh, we have every previous meetings uh, data on here as well so you can go back and have a look at previous data and then you can also go and look into tomorrow's um, meetings that is already loaded for you so let's go to Fairview Poly First thing we notice is that there's one greenie, and that's what that one is. So one safe to bet on, or we believe safe to bet on, bet for the day. And you can spot that by that G that you see there. Um, and if you go into that, you'll see a greenie has a big green um, highlight around it. So Wicked Grin is your greenie today. Then... <clears throat> Next of all, a couple of things that makes things easier. On the left of this um, here is your weather for the day. At the bottom here is the algorithms uh, selections for the exotics today. The first EXP1 is for PA and BIPOD purposes. The second EXP2 is for PA and BIPOD purposes. The third EXP3 is to add on for pick six and jackpot purposes. EXP4 is adding on for pick six and jackpot and so also EXP5. So in other words, if you're looking at your bipod, which is, will be races 1 to 6, then the bipod for the algorithms would be 7453 by 681 by 538 by 15386 by 2534 by 68527. If you are taking the bigger perm. If you're taking the small perm for the bipod, then simply 745 by 681 by 53 by 1538 by 253 by 68510. So that would cost you 216 times 4 is uh, 864 Rand for the small bipod, which would entail that portion there. Um, you'll also see that there's some spaces for notes on the side here, and these notes are also for you. To make things easier for you um, the editor can create some contributor notes so everyone can see it you can make some notes for a specific horse for a jockey for a trainer for the track or for any specific race and uh, can also upload the videos like we do for the daily um, preview for the horse racing and you can put the tick on for current day only or to make sure that those kind of horse ra horse features pops in again for the future. I'll show you a few examples of that that I've done yesterday. Um, old classic and you'll see that when I add my notes at the bottom here I've made some notes on Lagartha, Jet Cat, Battle Force and Courtney Lee. So whenever the, those horses pops up again it quite simply will just pop up for you and say hey these horses you made a note on last time um, that's your note and have a look at those again. So, um, so that's how the notes works. I also make some notes on the jockey trainer uh, JTR sheet at the, at the back here. As you can see, that's notes for every race for the JTR sheet at the back here. Um, I'll, that's one of the new features as well. It's just JTR sheet, the JTR combos at the, at the back here. The editor will also do bipod, PA, pick six, jackpot one and jackpot two notes for you. Um, so when you see them there those would be the editor's exotic picks okay so we can see the standard condition today 17 kilometers and an hour north northwesterly wind there's been no rain 24 hours no rain in seven days so it will definitely go ahead and without rain so first of all um at the top here you see p stats now what is p stats that's probability stats. What we do with our probability stats is we simply give you a guide for which indicators of these 20 indicators has worked best in the past 35 races for the exact same track, Fairview Polytrack, 
the same distance, 1200 meters, and the same class G. So um, you can pick here, give me the top rated chances to finish first. And out of those 35 races, the indicator that gives you the best chance to find the winner is in this case bat cd which is another one of our new features which is the um, exact course and exact distance bat the bat figure i'll tell you a bit later what the bat figure is so the bat figure for 42 days is here the bat figure for 84 days is here the bat figure for 168 days is here and the bat curve which is the consistency curve is here um, there's a button here ratings explained and that you can read through a couple of times that gives you the every single portion all the different columns with an explanation of what everything is and here at the bottom you can see what your bomb roll for 4284 168 days is and also what your bat figure is for bat 84 168 bat curve bat 42 um, and what it means when it's shown in green or when it's shown in uh, a different distance category in red so if I look at best chance to win in this race then this bat course and distance 50% um, of the races so far has been won by the best bat course and distance um, and then you've got 31% on T curve 31% on form 29% on overall ranking and 26% on opening betting uh, which is quite low for uh, opening betting Further to that, you'll see a legend here at the top, and if you hover over it, you'll get the, what it means. That means back from arrest. That means back from arrest and has a win and place percentage above 70%. That means back from arrest with a win and place percentage 50 to 70%. That's back from arrest, but when it comes back from arrest, it has a win and place percentage of less than 50%. That is a win and place percentage of greater than 66. So lightning bolt is for consistency. That is when a horse is gelded for the first time. That is when a horse is older than the field average. This is when a horse has changed stables. And the flames is when the jockey or the trainer or the jockey trainer combination is hot. And what I mean by hot is it's either got a more than 20% win chance or it's got a more than 50% place chance. Um, then on the bot on the side here. Uh, you'll see there's some new features here in the form of what we call uh, artificial intelligence or machine learning. What we've switched on and we've switched it on for the flames of, of the field that all the selections for the probability stats, as well as for these uh, yellow stars that the editor has picked. Um, th that's what the F and the R is for the form and the results. And the two together as a percentage, so that's 66% chance on Forest of Green, 63 on Danilo, 55 on Summer Madness, 53 on Amazing Tune, 49 on Derry, etc, etc, etc. From based on previous P stats and previous editor picks, the, how the machine is busy learning. You'll also see we've improved a couple of the things here. If you want to open all the detail, you can click on Toggle All History, and that'll just simply open up all the history for everything if you'll see a blue value here or purple value here that is when it's the exact same course fairview poly and the exact same distance the 1200 so you can see the fairview poly and the 1200 there um, the other thing that we've added on now is uh, the going of the course in other words if it was normal going or good going or standard going or yielding or heavy and then the links behind the winner we already have that link links behind the winner as an adjusted figure on bomb roll which is best average merit rating adjusted links behind for 42 days 84 days 168 days and for the consistency curve and then the bat one is bomb roll simply adjusted with this adjusted time figure so in other words for that same bomb roll figure what would the bat figure be if we have adjusted it with the speed of adjusted time and in this case as you can see adjusted time is the best when it's the best in any category you'll have a circle around it and you can also uh, simply sort by any category by just simply clicking on it so if i want to see the overall ranking ranks then you click on overall ranking and that's the ranking um, from the best to the worst if you click on greeny points that's a ranking 13 to 10 to 8 to 4 
If you click on exotic ranking, that's the exotic ranking ranking. That's the adjusted time, speed rating, median speed, exact distance, median speed. As you can see there, Derry is the best exact distance median speed, and he's had three over the exact course and distance. The form points, statistical points, uh, intent points, super rule percentage points, total, the standard standard uh, T-curve, that's our standard showing, um, which is the standard ranking of any race. And then all the bum rolls and all the bats and the bat uh, course and distance at the end, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so you can also see that we've also um, added the coloring here for um, the positions previously so green for first yellow for second red for third and blue for fourth um, and then we've also aligned the bomb roll figures with the uh, colors here when you see the date in green it means it's this 42 it's within 42 days when you see the date in yellow it means it's within 84 days when you see it in red means it, it's within 168 days and when you see uh, worse than red it means it's further than 168 days so that'll be in black here like this example on the 13th of February 2010 it falls outside of 4284 or 168 days but you can see it's still part of the curve and the curve is a eight month uh, curve or a 280 days curve and that one would just about make it inside. Um, something else that we've added is uh, spring chicken. If these are new runners compared to the balance of the field, um, you'll see that there. You also see the flames. When Grant Paddock and Luke McCottwa is both in a very good combination together, you'll see the flames there and you can um, hover over it to see. Um, he's got races entered three for the day. Um, which is that little three that you see there and his ranking in the country is 66th where Luke McCotwa is races entered five for the day and his rank is 12th which is pretty decent um, if you click on the jockey you'll also get all the different uh, details of the jockey so yeah you can see why they're both in flames because the winning place on the jockey is 50% win and 50% place strike rate and down here you can also see the runs since Grant Paddock's last win has been three runs since his last win. Luke McCotwa has uh, a 50% win place percentage on Amazing June, um, which is pretty good, obviously. Um, you'll also see these ODR scores here, and what that means is it's the on-day rules, um, and simply the algorithms keeps learning, so it checks what trainers are doing well, what jockeys are doing well, which, which draws are doing well, and it starts uh, adding points according to who's doing well and uh, those that's not doing so well um, they start losing points um, what that essentially means is you have an option to switch your ODR points on and off um, and if you do it would then simply add those points to the races for you as the day goes on now let's just give you an example of yesterday again since we don't have any on day rules for today yet um, but quite simply put, if we get to the end of the day and there's been quite a bit of on-day rules, if you put the ODR on, you see there's no points here on the ODR rules now, but if you click the ODR on, you'll see the points are shown there. Sean Terry has had two ad added points. Luke Ferraris has had one added point. And you can see the total T-curve points there adjusting from a 45 to 44.98. When you add it on, uh, you see the new T-curve top rated would now be 47.98 which is gold rock and pucker up would go into second position um, so it's a nice little feature to learn as the day goes along um, if you click on the trainer then it'll actually give you the ODR score it got two points from race two for a win for Terry being first and Luke Ferraris got in race one for a win uh, one point for race eight being first so um, the algorithms keep learning and it keeps adding those points on and just on that you'll also see those points at the back here um, for the uh, JTR sheet and we'll get, we'll get to the JTR sheet in a bit but you'll see these points added to those that got points two and a half there one and a half there one there no nothing 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 there there's no, and etc etc so so you'll see those things popping through
let's get back to today's example Fairview Poly and what I'm going to do different today is normally I do a lot of studying on just uh, looking at the detail of everything um, but instead I want to use our new tool that is the JTR combo sheet and what we've essentially done for the new tool is these rankings that we have for each race based on each of these indicators we have put those rankings in on the JTR combo sheet currently only for what we feel is our five most important categories and that is the total T curve the ORA or overall ranking the greenie points or GRA the bat 42 which is your uh, last 42 days bomb roll and adjust the time um, value over 42 days and then the bat C which is the bat curve which is the consistency one for a consistency reward per runner based on all his previous runs he's had on a weighted average so in other words the most recent runs has a bigger weight than the older runs and that's why you see that value uh, is different depending on at which point in time he has made those better figures so um, it's a bit of a weighted average that it's learning from as it goes along so let's do that by simply um, I'm going to make a note about that um, but before I go to the JTR sheet I want to show you another tool that's pretty cool if you want to do your own exotics um, you can say you do a bipod we know the bipod is to finish in the top two if you want to know what your chances is for the bipod to finish in the top two you say top rated to be placed first or second so that means in the bipod top rated for the bipod if you only look at top rated for the bipod your highest one year is a 50% on dairy and your second highest is a 49% also on dairy and your third best is a 46% on Danilo and your next best is a 46 year on Danilo and a 43 on Forest of Green another 40 on Forest of Green 40 on Forest of Green year and you'll see what those values 0.57 on the 16th of October um, so that would be that last run that 0.57 year um, and as you go along you uh, you see the different percentages so what that essentially means is if you only take one top rated it means you only got at the best a 50% chance of, of getting into top two how does that change when you take the top two see, okay now you have a 83% chance uh, apologies I just want to, want, to, want to switch that off now switch that off because someone else is trying to phone me at the same time when I'm actually trying to do something which is uh, Murphy's law okay so uh, if we uh, look at the place rated right top two place to top two now that would change into a 83 percent chance for the top two on opening betting um, to be in the bipod so that's 83 percent percent chance is quite high uh, top, top two total t curve which is forest of green and danilo gives us an 80 percent chance um, and here we got a hundred percent chance for the top two in bat course and distance which is dairy and summer madness so that's how you'd be uh, going about to be actually using those uh, for your pa same way if you wanted to play a place accumulator you'd say placed one to three that means place accumulator probabilities and in here your top rated to place highest percentage is a 63 percent on overall ranking for dairy to run into the top three um, and, and you can actually uh, go around and go through the day and see okay where's my big percentages if you want to look for a banker on your pa so here we have turn it up harvey has a 75 percent um, and moon game has a 75 percent uh, turn it up harvey on speed rating again a 75 percent and queen maqueda is a little bit of a hidden gem here 33 to 1 75 percent chance to place a top three uh wow at 33 to 1 which is pretty neat which would probably give you around seven to eight to one so uh for a 75 percent chance to get a place 
And then we move on into the third. Um, we'll see if there's anything bigger than that, than that percentage top rate that took place in the three. As you see here, there's no stats because this 2000 meter class D at Fairview Polytrack, we haven't rated yet, so we don't have any P stats for it. Here we have 15 races on P stats, and uh, yeah, Viking Moon looks like a pretty decent of 15 chances. Viking, um, the, the best on bat course and distance has placed 13 times, which would to me suggest that Viking Moon is a decent banker in your PA. Um, then race six, uh, and here we see uh, it's pretty open as we can see here. Um, and to be expected, it's a merit rated 68 event, and your highest is a 65% on uh, the exact distance median speed. Um, when you move on, Wicked Grin here um, is the top rate greeny, but as you can see, Vos Boy has 86% chance to place. Wicked Grin, 78% chance to be in the top three, um, which is pretty decent. Um, and for winning chances, 71% uh, on Vos Boy, and uh, yeah, not, not very supportive for Wicked Grin to win. Uh, the highest being 44%, yeah, but 44% for a 5 to 1 shot is uh, a 44% chance is normally supposed to be just around a 22 to 10 shot. So you're getting a 44% chance to win for a 5 to 1 shot, uh, which is pretty decent. Um, so play around with these probability stats. That's simply just data being, being collected as we go along. In the last, you can see top rated to place from 5 previous attempts, 80% on overall ranking. Uh, 75 on uh, exotic ranking and these 86 percent you see on super rule because there's four of them together that has the best super rule and then cloud atlas is one year at the back from those five the top bat curve finished in the top three five times um, okay so Let's move on and spend the last 10 minutes um, of the tutorial on the JTR combo. So as you can see here now, I've showed you that there's the finishing position, the date, the distance, previously the actual track, in that case Fairview Poly, if it's purple then it's the same course and the same distance, the race it was entered, who was the jockey, what was the draw, the weight, um, if the gear changes or have any, in this case, Alamites, Alamite stays Alamite, so there's no change. Here you can see there's a gear change, Alamites to blinkers. So it's had Alamites all the way and now it's adding blinkers on to this one. Um, and then opening betting, starting price, the merit rating, the going, the lengths behind the winner on that specific race, the adjusted time, speed rating, median speed, exact distance, median speed, you'll only see that when it is the exact distance, like in a 1200, you'll see a value because it is 1200. Form points, statistical points, intent points, super rule points, total T curve, the standard rating points, um, the bum roll figure, the lower the better, and the bat figure, the lower the better. Um, and then uh, that pretty much sums up all the different columns we have. Uh, one thing I'd like to notice to add, add to you is just showing you, yeah, say if you want to put a, or turn it up, however you want to say, okay, um, create a note for me and say, we'll win next time, perhaps, or whatever the case is. If you want to play and uh, put a note for yourself, and you'll see that next time that note will pop up there when the horse comes, it gives you a notification to tell you, have a look at that horse again. You can make notes of the jockeys, the trainers, the race, the track. Um, that's for the experts for the, the editors and we also have notes where we can have for everyone else to show in other words what we call a contributor note okay so that's another thing i want to show you then we get to the jtr sheet and in the jtr sheet what we've simply done is we've taken our five most important uh, rankings, uh, overall ranking, greenie points, total T curve, bat 42 and bat C and we've told you where does that horse rank on any one of them and if you hover over it it gives you the actual horse name. So 
Example here in the first, Danilo is ranked third on overall ranking, second on greenie points, second on T curve. It doesn't have any bat 42 form, it hasn't run in the last 42 days, and then the bat curve it is fourth. On the side here, you can also see Alan Greef is in hot form. He's had three runners since his last win. He's ranked fifth in the country, and Greg Shane is ranked second in the country. T Gould is 38th, and Glob is 42nd, Mini is 57th. Um, once the result is known, then you can see these finishing positions popping up here. And to show you an example of how important that is and how that will help you, we can simply just go back to yesterday and have a look at yesterday. So, so what we can learn here is you can start seeing how uh, the day will pan out and who you think has the best chance for that which horse has the best chance for the for that trainer for the day i'll just show you a few examples here um i mean here's an example macaulay only had two for the day um had some decent uh figures here with fly north fly north one and immediately once the first horse of the day won you can see that he's had two other races race eight and race nine entered and they duly obliged with a place from jacko boy a fourth from pot podcast and a second from passion peach now once macaulay one year you can see that kumalo must be earmarked because kumalo has the flames for baron Buertas, and that's why that would mean that passion peach was a lovely place prospect for you as you go along you can start seeing and learning the, um, the as the algorithms goes along like here's an example corner piece has three for the day that one is not so great. That one is not so great. The best chance is clearly Snow Palace. He also puts Pierre Stratum on board that has the flame for him. And he's first on overall ranking, first on greeny points, first on T curve, third on bat curve, and nothing on bat 42. So he has had some time to prep the horse. And Snow Palace, duly obliged, tried to win and ran second. Okay, it doesn't always work out like that, like in our example yesterday. Really expected more from Country Lee, Courtney Lee, but the only thing that didn't work was Matsunyani's 69th position in the log. Because Grant Maroons only had one run since his last win. It was leading till the 200 meter mark, and then the horse just faded away. Um, yeah, we can see Heather Adamson, she's had three for the day. Her best chance was clearly this one with the lowest points here because Pierce Trodon fought Anne. That had no chance. That had no chance. And fought Anne obliges with a place. Um, Heinrich, Heinrich van der Westhuizen and Jeffrey Seister, they both have flames together. So they're a good combination together. The third year on ORA, third on GRA. And Jet Cat comes in and obliges with a second spot. Um, and then there's some interesting gems that you can really spot, like Mike DeCock has a great day. How do we know that? He wins the first and second in the first, then his only runner, else Assi, was a first-timer, so not ranked that great because it's a first-timer. It was fourth on greeny points. It wins, so now you already start seeing the pattern, and then Matsunyane comes and runs third with Fireflower, and Kokeshi wins in the last, so you could see the build-up of that happening um matchet had, had a decent day and if you look at them who's going to have the most the best day kamalo with the second and the win here on tyrus express um if you go around at the bottom there was a couple of others that i uh, really liked such as sinjin gray for Hewitson, which was bitter wind and ulalate and then pettigrew um, had a third on marrakesh and another third on imperial master and then terry um, had a first on Voya and then followed her up with a uh, third on Gold Rock with some very decent values here. Another thing that uh, really helps is if your trainer ranking and your jockey ranking aligns with your points. Um, example here, Sinjin Gray, first one, one run since its last winner, third ranked in the country, first for Lyle Hewitson as a jockey. And you see that's not so great. And then the next one goes as two, one, 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 three. And that's bitter wind all the way. And bitter wind dearly obliged with the wind. So let's see if we can apply that today in our horse racing today. Um, and let's have a quick look at who, which who's going to stand out today. 
If we look at Alan Greff and Greg Shane, we've been accustomed to the two of them doing very well. So as you can see, uh, it does look like he's going to have quite a decent day. Um, Teak Gould has two for him in Derry and also in Verberium. That's both pretty decent. Gavin Smith and Marco von Rensburg seems like the, the one that's collecting today um, as a combination. They have some very good points here. Second rated o ORA overall ranking. First in greening points. First in T curve. First in bat 42. Second in bat curve. Um, so Forest of Green looks pretty decent here. Another one looks pretty decent here is uh, Turn It Up Harvey. Then here we go with... Uh, Another decent La Bella Mia, pretty decent as well. That one doesn't look too bad either, Spirit of Song. Then you go to Grand Paddox Runners for the day, and his best is clearly the one with the flame, yeah, and the one with the flame and the flame for Paddock together as a combination is Norfolk Pine. So he'll probably be trying with Norfolk Pine today. Uh, let's go to the next. Hickey Stratum's best chance is in the eighth race here. Jock. Stradom's best runners, potentially either this one, onesie, or this one, Beneficiary. Um, but he has some flames on Luke Ferraris, Alden Weber, Ramzan as well. So uh, not too far out of it, Mary Moon and Oratorina. You can see he's here, not this race a bit. Funny that the flames pops up with these two, and the one that has the best rating is onesie. Um, then Joan Nell. Joan Nell looks pretty good with Ramzan here yeah, on this one. Lotus King. Teak Gould on this one. Crystal Stream. But as you can see, there's no flames here for those two guys together. Montana Turner has her best chance. Not here, not here, not here. Clearly, yeah. God of Thunder in the seventh race. Sharon Cotson's best chance is clearly that one, which is Moon Game. And maybe a little bit of this one at the back here, which is Scarborough Fair. And then Tara Lang has a few place prospects at the end. That looks pretty decent. It's a mega onslaught. Wang Gang Midnight. Uh, a little bit of Para Handy. And then a little bit more of Kiss of Life in the end. Zitzman Oerstazen's best chance is Probably in his first race in the flesh because it doesn't have much. There's a little bit of let's blaze, but not much coming in the end. Okay, so so how would we use that? You'd actually use those to find your doubles and trebles um, for the day and your bankers for your place accumulator. Um, if I, for instance, look at one that's really strong and I align that with the jockey and the trainer, let's look at that one. Mayo Grande, um, three runs since its last win for Griev. Uh, Griff is uh, ranked fifth in the country. He puts Greg Shane ranked second in the country on board, and uh, this and this horse also has a second on overall ranking, third on greening points, second on T curve, second on bat 42, and first on bat curve. So I would expect Neo Grande to be involved in the finish and a potential banker in your place accumulator. Um, another one that stands out here is two runs since last win for Gavin Smith. 12th is okay, 24th for Marco, and uh, 2 one, 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 2 on Forest of Green looks pretty decent to me as well. Uh, yes, the Flames on Paddock here, three runs since last wins. Flames on Majan and Norfolk Pine is probably another one that will be trying today. Of course, we see one that can be trying. Luke Ferraris, fifth. Um, Mackenzie, a little bit of a worry, 11 runs since his last win, 49th in the country, but we got a full house of ones here, and that goes to Wicked Grin. So Wicked Grin surely will be a trier here as well. Um, okay, guys, so, so I think that's enough now um, for you to just show you how to use that um, and how to make sure that um, this aligns. And as I've showed you, the finishing position here will start making uh, things a bit easier. Here's another banker for you in the PA. Moon game. Uh, Sharon Cotson flames. Luke McCotwa flames. 11 runs is a bit of a worry, but 12th is Luke McCotwa. I'm surprised Luke McCotwa is so well up. 12th in the rankings. 
Um, and he's got a 1 1 2 1 1. So I wouldn't be surprised if Moon Gang is not a runner for you today. Of course, um, what makes things easier is if you actually look at it race by race. So let's look at race one, for instance. You see some decent form here. You see decent form here. You see what I think looks like the best year. Now, if you look at that and you combine that with a 12th and a 24th, it's okay. But if you look at that and you combine it with the with the fifth and a the second, then that must have a run as well in Danilo, and even that one must have a run in Derry. And that one's name is Forest of Green, and those three are clearly your biggest prospects in this race. If I look further down, um, Grant Paddock has uh, Amazing Junior, which is okay. Um, Jock Stradom's got a little bit of a flash on Summer Madness. Montana Turner has a little bit of a flash here on Russian Knight, but clearly that's her best chance in the back here. And Zitzi Oosthuizen's best chance is in the first race in, in the Fletch. Okay, so I hope that makes sense, guys. And I hope that helps in uh, making things easier for you. 36 minutes. Um, I don't want to make the video much longer than that. But please make use of these new features. Uh, the JTR combo. That's brand new for you that everyone can use. The Blue Bat, exotic, um, um, the exact course, exact distance bat that you can see here. Um, also the going and the lengths that we've added, the number of runners for the uh, the number of runs for the horse. I know the Forest of Greens had five, his five, fifth run today. Gavin Smith has eight races entered and he's ranked 12th. Marco from Rendsburg has seven races entered and he's ranked 24th. Um, and then the machine learning um, and AI points on the back here. If you can sort that on, uh, you can sort it on that as well. Um, to see 66 versus 63, it's pretty close. Let's go further on. We see, okay, 74, 68, 61 points. That's a point out of a percentage. Lord Marshall, 77, 74, 69. Um, let's just see if we find one that's got quite a bit of a gap. 73 to 65 to 51. So onesie looks pretty decent there. Um, Viking Moon 72 to 68. Those top two clearly look 72 to 68, and then only 38. Uh, then here we have yeah beneficiary pops up 58 hidden influence, uh, but all of those are low because it's a 68 merit rating, so it's not even getting to 70 points. And funny enough, yeah, Vars Boy is outdoing the Green 73 points. Green is not performing very well on AI 49 points. 49, 48, 44, 18. Oh, those are all so wicked. Green is still second ranked on AI with Vars Boy first ranked and Torrio Lake third ranked. But Vars Boy clearly a bit of a gap there. Uh, then Scarborough Fair 70% uh, with a roughly of such proportions. Angel Bouquet at 21, 21 in second spot here. I definitely think it's a bit of a roughie for the exotics. And Viva Pipa is a 50 to 1 roughie year for the exotics. Um, that pops up with some decent 57 against 67 against 70. Scarborough Fair you have to include in your exotics here as well. Um, which means that this kiss of life is maybe not such a great idea. As uh, it shows that it's, uh, it's uh, not performing well on AI figures. Um, if I look at it on normal standard T curve, it does do really well. Change of stable, Tara Lang, Chase Mujan together. Uh, all of these other figures look pretty decent. But uh, it's even got the best exact course and distance. But yeah, worry that it's not performing on AI. Okay, guys. Um, I hope that this will help. Um, horse racing is, uh, is quite a difficult one to master. Your permutations are endless. Sport is way easier, and that's why we have 16 other sports catered for. We have 17 greenies on sport today, seven picks, and there's uh, value picks. And, and, and on sport, you can add them to the watch list as well, so make sure that you've got all your stuff. And we're also introducing new features like in play mode and a new virtual punter mode that's coming here that's close to where you can actually play around with your punting soon. Um, so watch the space. There's uh, quite a lot of things happening. But I hope you have found this useful as far as horse racing for all you horse racing enthusiasts out here. 
Have a great day.